Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really, really appreciate your presence, your love and support on my channel. Thank you so much for everything. I'm really grateful for everything. So as I promised you guys yesterday, I will be soon back with a reading uh, messages from Goddess Durga. I was very strongly, I have been channeling this energy for a for a day or two now and um, I'm very strongly guided to do this reading so hence here I am um, before we start with the reading before we proceed I will make a little announcement so I have just opened up another channel for tarot readings in Hindi language if you resonate with the language if you understand that language uh, and you want to check out my other channel, feel free to do that. I will leave the description um, and the link to the video, uh, to link to the new channel in my description of the video. So uh, do check it if you're interested. Now let's start with the reading. Okay. Thank you, dear Goddess Durga. Thank you, Ma. Ma, show us the path. Jai Ma Durga. Uh, when I lighted the candle, I saw a big V that gave me the message of victory. I saw a big V. Oh, wow. See, there's another. Um, that's interesting. I'm getting the image of Jatayu for some reason. Uh, Jatayu was a bird in Ramayana. And he helped Lord Rama to know where Sita was, uh, where Mata Sita was taken. So he gave that first um, hint or he gave that first link that uh, Ravana took away Mata Sita. So I'm getting a feeling with this because the vision that I got, it gave me a message that you're going to soon be revealed something very important. The first clue or basically the first clue on your path or that indication that you're on the right path or the indication that what you're supposed to do, there will be a revelation. There will be a, a person, uh, a, a person of wisdom that will reveal you the facts that will reveal you. Um, how beautifully see flowers are forming. This gives me a feeling that your prayer has been accepted. Um, your, if you have made a wish recently, you want to get something, it will be granted. Your wish is very much ex accepted and accepted with love. I feel a lot of love here, okay? When I'm doing this, when I see these wax drops falling, it is giving me such a feeling of love, okay? So it has been accepted with love. Don't worry, you're going to get it. I'm hearing this, you're going to have a clear guidance. You're going to get a very clear sign, very clear guidance. Um, with someone entering your life or someone who has already entered your life there is going to be a very clear sign uh, you are no longer going to feel confused there is a lot of clarity entering i'm also hearing the word joy so it gives me that feeling of you know like you're going to enjoy your time going forward it is not lo it is no longer going to feel as if you know ah uh, just time is passing by and things are just i don't know what's happening so that energy is changing. You're going to step into the energy of enjoying your time, enjoying your work, enjoying what you're doing, no matter what that is. Even if it is all about the monotonous work, routine work, you're going to enjoy it. There is a sense of underlining joy here, okay? Uh, there's a lot of truth being revealed to you because I see the formation of an uh, of a ear here, like a ear, like someone is listening something. So there's a lot of truth coming to surface and um, 
there's a lot of clarity entering. Okay. I'm seeing the image of that, um, you know, those video games, the battleground games that we play um, in which they, in order to see the target clearly, you take that scope. So I got that image as if someone is like, they got a scope and now they're very able to clearly able to see, okay? So yeah, there's a lot of energy of clarity here. For some of you, I'm also getting... Um, I'm actually seeing the, um, okay, uh, let me put it in the right way. Um, uh, I'm especially getting this message with relate, in relation to females watching me. Uh, you're going to feel when it comes to your natural body sculpting, like a natural body figure, I feel that you're going to feel much more confident in that. Plus, you're going to feel much more, uh, you're losing weight or you're going to feel as if your body is getting toned. You're naturally, your body is acquiring a good shape kind of feeling, you know, like you're going to feel very, uh, very feminine about yourself. Okay. There is a, there is some kind of femininity in the way your body appears now or the way you conceive about your body or the way you perceive about your body. You're going to feel very feminine in your body appearance. Uh, this is what I'm getting for the females. Like there's a blessing in your body, the way you look, the way you appear, the way you, that your, your true femininity that comes across, okay? Someone here is going to be blessed with a baby girl soon is the message that I'm getting. I'm seeing a very cheerful little girl. I'm also very strongly channeling the sign of Aquarius. Um, so maybe this girl is already born in someone's family or this is you, you might be an Aquarius. I'm very strongly channeling the star card here in the tarot. Um, I I definitely sense a lot of love energy, a feeling of love, the energy of love around you. Um, I was guided to use rose petals today in the water. So I think, yeah, that's evident. I sense a lot of energy or the vibration of love, okay? I think for some of you, you have done a recent ritual or you have done some kind of uh, like a prayer, a candle prayer or some kind of maybe you did something, okay, in order to heal your relationships or in order to heal your love life or in order to heal your personal relationships with people. I do see that, uh, that, that working for you. You're going to see positive effect of that ritual you did or whatever that was, prayer, in whatever way, shape or form. I'm hearing the word mother fairy. Uh, I keep hearing this feeling of, you know, like you are being, you know how when a girl grows up in her adolescence, her mother is her best friend, okay? Her mother becomes the guide. So I keep getting that kind of a feeling here as if you have a spiritual guide, you have a, like in the spiritual sense, you're going to feel the presence of a mother, a feminine energy that is kind of guiding you to your towards towards your true femininity, that's guiding you towards your true nature, um, your own nurturing abilities, your own nurturing sense, uh, your own sense of self-love, okay? There is like a, there's this guidance spiritually present around you that is going to help you understand better about your own feminine energy, your own feminine powers, your own um, sense of, you know, intuition how you can better tune in with that ability of yours how you can awaken that self-love okay how you can um create that vibration of love around you it's you who will be the source of that love okay the source is awakening as if you're realizing oh <laughs> that was a beautiful bang on the plate and uh it it's it went off okay that gave me the feeling of a beautiful tower moment. And it also gave me the feeling of like, you know, 
Um, in temples here we use, there is a instrument that's used that is called a kasha. I don't know if you guys res understand that, but it's like a metal plate on which you bang with a thing, okay? It creates a sound. So it gave me that feeling like, wake up. <laughs> There's a wake up call for you. And this wake up call, the feeling that I channel with this wake up call is about self-love. It's about understanding your own true feminine energy. It's about understanding that and channeling that nurturing energy from within. That's the kind of awakening or that's the kind of call that I feel for you. And that is going to help you to up level. This, this vibration that you will step in will help you to up level yourself and attract things much more easily in life. You are definitely stepping into a big empress energy that I sense, okay? It's like the ultimate empress energy. And uh, wow, that's a beautiful feeling that I have. Let me go again with this candle. Let's see now what we see. Oh. I'm hearing the message, if you don't find a way, then make one, is what I heard. If you don't find a way, make one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't show you right now, but uh okay the sun is like damn bright here right now it, it was raining since morning from two three days it has been raining now the weather is on the toss <laughs> i'm sounding like a commentator here okay anyways <laughs> yeah wow that's a beautiful heart small heart I'm also getting this feeling for many of you, this healing energy is entering your life in the form of an animal or it's entering your life in the form of a baby. Like maybe there's a baby in your family. I, I think the brightness in the video is increasing. You can kind of see how the sunlight is just growing and glowing. And oh my God, <laughs> I love it. When there is like a gloomy day and suddenly the sun is up, it's such a, such a beautiful feeling. For many of you, this energy, as I was saying, uh, is entering your life in the form of an animal, like a pet or something, or in the form of a baby, uh, a child that's born in your family. Uh, there's definitely a healing energy, very strongly. I'm also getting this energy or I'm getting this message that, you know, that message of Adam and Eve where they, um, okay, so cut to short the story. Um, I'm getting this feeling that your, the inner serpent, okay, like the inner serpent, what is that serpent symbolic of in the garden of um, the, the one who tempted the Eve, uh, the Eve consciousness, which we say. So basically that serpent energy is symbolic of that coiled energy that's inherent within us, which we have to work through and awaken to move it to the upper chakras, the to, to align it with the upper consciousness, okay? Uh, we shouldn't be stuck in the animal consciousness or the basic, uh, you know, the necessities of life, which represents the lower chakras. We are indeed supposed to awaken that serpent or kundalini energy towards our upper consciousness, which is our third eye, our crown chakra, um, sahasrara, which is. So I'm getting this feeling of, you know, like you are able to, there is this sense or there is this energy of, you know, where you're able to step into that consciousness, okay? Your, your, your ability to step into a consciousness to understand something deeply is awakening. There is definitely a sense of awakening here. Many of you, I feel you're get, going through another major spiritual awakening in life, which is helping you to understand and realize much more deeper concepts. For many of you, I also feel this will come to you in the form of a book. 
this 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 uh, awakening that is triggered within you will be triggered by some kind of book you read you are actually manifesting you're manifesting a clue i told you in the beginning of the reading okay i sense there is a clue being dropped in your lap like a very evident big hint now for many of you that could come in the form of a video it can come in the form of a book you're directed to read you're, you're guided to read a book maybe it can come in the form of a literal person a guru it might come in the form of a stranger you meet now take that how that resonates okay we live in a modern age we live in a technical age so it can come in many ways in many forms to you so Mm -mm. Okay. I see a very balanced energy here, like a balanced approach you have, like a, you're doing things in much more balanced way. There's this energy of Goddess Kurukula. Goddess Kurukula is kind of, uh, she emanates a very healing energy, okay? When you when you are kind of almost done healing and she brings you something like a new fresh breath of air. I'm channeling her energy, Goddess Kurukula. She's seen as a very big healing energy, okay? Um, wow. I'm hearing no more arguing, no more argue, arguing. I think um, if you're trying to prove a point to someone, stop doing it. It's useless. Don't do it. If you're trying to prove someone your worth, like say, for example, someone is ignoring you or someone is not talking to you, just giving you an example, and you're trying to prove your worth through them, you want to call back, you want to let them know, hey, see this, that, you don't need to explain anything. Don't argue. If they don't want to talk, fine that's their wish you do your thing you're not here to explain things to people if people value you they will come to you okay let me remind this to you let me underline this fact to you if someone wants to talk to you they will if someone wants to see you they will they will find a way to do that it's not your headache to explain them how they should come towards you that's not your headache that's not your part of the job so just putting it out there, maybe someone really needs to hear this. Stop explaining yourself to people. Stop explaining your worth, putting your worth on the table. Go entertain and put your worth on the other table. Maybe then they will realize what they missed. Okay? If you are not being welcomed in a particular on a particular table, better choose another table for you where you're respected, where people are readily available to hear you, where people would love to listen to you talk to you okay just reminding i think someone needs that reminder here so yeah my job is done i reminded you Ooh, the fire oh yeah <laughs> arising from the ashes hmm I'm getting the energy of a false start here. Like someone had a false start. You're disappointed recently, I believe. Someone here was disappointed recently. Like you thought something was going to work in your favor, but it did not work. So you're kind of disappointed. Um, chin up is what I'm hearing. Chin up. Okay. All right, let this settle for a bit. I'm gonna pull a couple of cards. Give me a moment. <clears throat> let's see, what should I do? Okay, let's take this. I really love these um, tea leaves. 
that I bought recently, the tea leaf cards. And they're very accurate. Okay. Wow. Let's take them in parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take one more from this. Oh, that flew out. Wow. So bottom you got kangaroo, kangaroo, <laughs> unsettled times need to plan ahead. Yeah. Okay, you got a uh, key with successful outcome to your problems. Yeah, you're finding the hint, the key to your problem. Bridge successfully. Oh my God, do you need anything else? <laughs> Two different cards are confirming the same thing. Successfully overcoming a problem. A repetitive message. Grape, uh, grapes, time to go out and have fun. What? What? I was talking about fun energy the whole time here. Okay, let's take some more from the other half. Um, oh, 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 that just flew out like the butterfly itself. Okay, we are gonna. Okay, there are so many. Let's take them. You got butterfly with change for the better. The cards are indicating the same thing. All all the cards. Uh, you're on the road to success, victory. As I said in the beginning, hammock. Uh, taking a vacation physically or mentally. Wow, are you serious? Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Oh my God, this is just confirming everything I said. Love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, family wishes come true and wed. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Ooh, that's something. Let things set, things are settling itself. Don't try to, um, you know, don't try to overdo something. Don't try to, as I said, don't try to push something. Let it happen in its natural course. You do your thing. You focus on your joy. You focus on taking your time off, enjoying your time. Okay, wow. And bottom of the deck I just saw was dealings a relationship with an older woman, that feminine energy that I was feeling. All right, let's see the shape now. If you recognize something, you can drop in the comments. Um, hang on. Oh, the water is too cold. Oh, wow. The moment I lifted this up, this, this area gave me the feeling of a horse, like a horse with legs up. Horse denotes freedom. Okay, this is stuck. This gives me the feeling of like a chariot, um, the chariot, okay? A lot of movement, a lot of moving forward energy. Okay, wow, that was something. All right, um, so I'm going to leave the reading till here. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, don't forget to check my other channel. And thank you so much for being here with me till the end. I do appreciate your presence. Have a great day ahead and enjoy your time. Take it slow, do your thing, and I wish you success. Bye-bye.